What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Flip Podcast, episode number six. Five. Five. <laughs> yeah. It's been a little bit. <laughs> we haven't recorded an episode in two weeks. We had a a little mix-up. We were supposed to have American Western on, but um, had some technical difficulties, so we couldn't <laughs> record with them. But um, hopefully we'll be able to get them back on. But um, first things first, before I introduce today's guest... Um, uh, we're going to do a uh, $100 giveaway to uh, to just uh, show our appreciation for the amount of support that uh, that we've gotten so far. It really means a lot. Um, I know multiple people told me that they actually listen, so, uh, so that's cool. Um, so, yeah, all you have to do to enter is just subscribe and then um, just shoot either us, me or Cam, a, uh, a screenshot that, you, uh, that you're subscribed. And then, uh, and then you'll be entered. If you uh, if you refer a friend, you'll get another entry too. So, um, yeah, our uh, our socials will be socials will be linked in the description. Um, but yeah, so um, back to today's guest. Today's guest has more than uh, seventy thousand followers oh, combined. This is where this is going. <laughs> yeah, more than seventy thousand followers combined on TikTok and Instagram, and two point three million likes on TikTok. So, um, so yeah, you got a pretty decorated social media. What's that like? Just a little bit. Just a little bit? Um, honestly, it's nothing special. Yeah? As much as you think, you know? Well, I mean, it's more than most people. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't make you feel different, you know, when you wake yeah. up. Have you gotten but to the point yet where, like, strangers will recognize you? Like, people you've never met before? I like, actually oh. have been recognized in you've public. You've been recognized? Huh? Yeah. Really? Damn. When was this? Um, oh, my God. In College Station, yeah. No shit. Yeah. Damn. At a party. Did you? Was it a girl? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that was actually one of my questions. Um. Uh, but we'll get to that later. So, um, so you initially blew up. How did you initially blow up? Do you remember? Um. Yeah. It was junior year of high school, and it was like baseball season. Yeah. And we were on the baseball bus back from a game, and we all downloaded it, and we were all just like making funny ones. Yeah. Like as a team, you know, just doing it for fun. Uh huh. And then literally the next day I had like a baseball showcase and I was like, I'm going to do this trend that I saw and I'm going to run up the stairs and I'm going to do it. So <laughs> my genius idea is run on the outside of the stairs where there is no railing. Yeah. And I do that and then I fall halfway up. Damn. And I almost ate shit, but I saved how many, myself. How many likes did that one get? Like 40,000, I think. 40,000. All I did was trip on stairs. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it just happened randomly, yeah. I guess. <laughs> and then. That's still cool. Um, But I know your you're most like TikTok is the one where you show the rooms, right? Oh, uh, yeah. With your mom? Yeah. That one was kind of sad. I'm yeah, not going to lie. I, I don't know. I woke up feeling creative that day, I guess. <laughs> and just decided to. It was uh, quarantine, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And Like the beginning of quarantine, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I had, was trying to blow up, you know, mm -hmm. get bigger, make some more Because your followers money. were a little stagnant yeah. then, right? Yeah. It would always fluctuate. You yeah. Know? It was super annoying. I could never figure out, like, what people wanted. To do. <laughs> <laughs> what to do. Yeah. But, um, but now um, your content is shifting a little more towards fitness and health. Obviously, you know, you've been looking <laughs> swole. I work out with you and everything like that. Thank you. And, thank, uh, thank you. Yeah, you've helped out me and Willie, especially Willie is you've done something right with Willie. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, is that your is that what you want to move into more yeah. fitness and health content? Definitely. A hundred percent. What got you what got you inspired by like fitness and health? Well, that was always my like dream and goal. But I just knew like back then I de definitely did not have the body or like. Yeah. Well, you seat. weren't you weren't skinny by any means. Yeah, but I feel like. I shouldn't be posting content where telling people to eat this or do this yeah. to look like me. And then they're just going to look at me and be like, we don't want to look like you. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to get to that point first before I started like making before videos you started, like, about what I actually everything. wanted to do. Yeah. I knew that was what I wanted to do the whole time. Like, yeah. I would always see videos. I've grown up watching YouTube videos of like bodybuilders, power lifters, like nutritionists. Like uh -huh. it's just like what I love. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's good. You've been doing something right. I know a lot of people have been asking for your workout routine. 
yeah on tiktok yeah so are you gonna drop that soon i am working on dropping that yeah. you are i have a video are you like writing it down and everything like yeah. that yeah that's it's what's a up. lot of work actually i did not realize how much it was yeah with like the freaking nine hour shifts every day and oh, yeah. working out dude yeah your new job has been killing shit for yeah. you recently but uh but it also has been helping with the body so yeah that's true <laughs> fucking working outside every day mm -hmm. in a warehouse just sweating your dick off just lifting stuff yeah <laughs> but um so back to back to being recognized have you ever gotten with a fan <laughs> of yours uh you say this like you know this matt yeah <laughs> <laughs> I can neither def confirm or deny it. You this, can't? These theories. Okay. So that's a yes. Otherwise, it would have been a no. <laughs> what was that like? Hopefully my mom Was it a little this. awkward? Uh, No, it wasn't. You know, because, like, you can't just picture yourself as, like, some star just because you have yeah. a few more followers than someone. Did Whenever you first know. met this person, did they, like, was it a little awkward for you being, like, holy shit, like, I've seen you on... Oh, like yeah. my phone before it's always awkward was I'm it a little awkward human being did you did they get starstruck or were you more were you more surprised that like holy shit like no nah, i think it was me that was a little more surprised you're a little more surprised that like i got a person to actually like hang out with me because they saw me on a random app yeah that's crazy did you were, was it was a girl right yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> just making sure um but um what is a so are you are you looking to like become like a bodybuilder or something what's your Just what's your fitness goal i know i know cam too you've been working out your ass off yeah trying to get Fucking lean like, down 12 pounds in two weeks right now damn that's good work right that's now. really good but like you sweat like what like a thousand calories per workout or some shit so that sweat class i usually burn like 750 in 50 minutes yeah and then after the sweat class later in the day i'll hit the gym and then do like heavy lifting with weights mm -hmm. and then that workout i usually burn around 450 damn so like i'm like but i do the sweat class every other day though yeah so but like on those days where i'm doing two days where is that that you uh that you work out that one's in the Heights, the sweat class, but they have one opening in the River Oaks, like two minutes down from our apartment. Is it called Sweat? Yeah, it's called Sweat. Yeah. Okay. Damn. It looks like a really nice place. It is. It's cool, too. Your body, it's bro, cool. it's like, it's fucking like transforming into a thank, V. Thank you. I know. It's, it's just, just like crazy. an arrow pointing towards my dick, you know? Yeah. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the <laughs> dream, bro. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? But, um, but yeah, is a, so. Are you, what a, what is your usual workout routine look like? Like what do you love hitting the most? Ooh. Um don't say legs. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I was going to say cannot say yeah. legs. <laughs> cannot say legs. That is atrocious, but I would say back. 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 I love hitting back. Now. What's your favorite workout for back? Lat pull downs. Oh yeah. Is that the one with the mm -hmm. with the bar? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I like doing those too. <laughs> yeah, those, are, <laughs> those are those are really fun to do. They make me feel strong. Now that I have a, like a wider lat spread, just your like, your lats, bro. Just like bring it up. Fucking like, like wings. In the it, you got like wings, bro. <laughs> Whenever you're like in in the fucking in the locker room, fucking <laughs> it's like <laughs> yeah, that itself is a lat spread. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking crazy. I saw this one dude on TikTok. He literally, like, it was it was like a regular man on his, like, stomach. And then the top half looked like Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> with his fucking, with his stings, whatever they're called. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's that's really good. I know uh, you've been really dedicated for that. What about, like, are you, do you see a future in that for you? Like, yeah, what actually. are you, so, like, you're studying construction management right same construction science construction yeah. science yeah so would it would you ever be open to like coaching people like a personal trainer or whatever oh yeah Easy. you would right now i'm i was thinking about changing my major to kinesiology what is that uh it's like mm, <laughs> i couldn't explain yeah it's like your body it's your body it's like okay <laughs> that's what most personal trainers have is their degree is a kinesiology it a degree? degree and Does like that, do you need to do four years for that and yeah you do so why didn't you 
I just figured like, I'm not going to, most people don't use their majors for what they're doing now. You know, I had that talk with the people I work with, you know? Yeah. But like, it, it can help on the other hand. Yeah. Right? But like at the same time, are you going to take it? Do you, do you want to take advice from people that like aren't doing what you want to be doing? No, but I also haven't met people that are doing what I want to be doing. What do you want to be doing? That is a tough question because I just want to make an impact an somewhere. Impact. Do you think you can make an impact in construction science more than personal training? Not more than, but I think I could make just as much of an impact. So for construction science, it's a really it's a really broad term, right? Because mm -hmm. you can do a lot with that. You can make a fuck ton of money with that too, right? Mm -hmm. But I think personally, I think that like if if you like f have a passion for working out and everything then you should pursue it because if you truly have a passion in it, you're going to find a way to be the best in it and you're going to find the way to maximize it. And people are going to know that you have this passion for it and they're going to want to work out with you more. So like, I don't know. That's what happened this summer. I, I was telling my mom that yeah. I was like, I know what my passion is. Like, yeah, I found it. Like, exactly. I love waking up and going to the gym. Like, uh -huh. I wake up and I'm like, I need to hit the gym and I, or I need to eat this or I need to do this. Like, it's all about what I need to do to, like, become a better weightlifter, bodybuilder. Yeah. And that's all the videos I watch. It's anything I'm interested in, you know? Yeah. But she wants, she was like, okay, yeah, that's fine. You can change your degree to kinesiology. You can do what you want. But I just figured it was, like, the smarter decision to be in school for something else. Because I keep my interests outside of school because I don't want it to be like, I don't know. You don't want it like to what? I feel is like it monetary value? It, is that what it like is? I feel like if I make it school too, then the interest is just going to go away. I, I'm having a hard time. At, like, I get what you mean. I, you feel like you're going to get burned out? Yeah. Because you're like constantly hearing about it? Because right now I go to work for nine hours. And then, because I know right after I get to work out afterwards. That's well, like the one thing that like, yeah. me. like I what wake about, up and I'm like, I just have to go through this to work out afterwards. Are you going to do like a minor in kinesiology? I haven't thought about that, but. Because that could work out. That could work. But I mean, the problem would still yeah. arise like constantly hearing about it. I don't know how minors work. I'm not in college. <laughs> But <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm in college and I don't know how they work. Yeah. So. so, but, um, but yeah, I think that's good. Um, I know some, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, anyway, we're just going to switch. Did you watch the text? I know we were, we were at the gym and the Texans started playing. Oh yeah. Yeah. I was out of nowhere. Yeah, I know. We were just working out. Did you know that, te that the Texans started yeah. playing again? You yeah, did? the preseason game. We won 26-7. to seven. We won? Yeah, against the Packers, 26-7. <laughs> to seven. Damn, that's surprising. I think I, 12 of the points were from field goals, though. Oh, so we kicked shit. four, typical Texans, four bro. field goals. That's literally typical Texans shit. Do you think, do you think the Texans are going to go far this year? No. 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 You don't think so? No. no. Damn. No. <laughs> I was actually well with this new coach that we have I was watching I was watching some of it while I was working out and it looked like the run game looks a lot more aggressive I didn't watch the game at all you didn't no okay well maybe maybe I'll have to take one of y'all because I got season tickets now so oh, you have season tickets to the Texans yeah wow so that's pretty cool <laughs> quick flex <laughs> <laughs> But um, you're you said you're a Bears fan now, right? Or Bills? Bills. I'm more of a Bills fan. Bills I'm a bandwagon fan. Bills fan. Gotcha. I will gladly admit it. Why huh? is that? Because they're good, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm tired of watching That's a team. It? I'm tired of watching a team that loses, bro. I'm tired of it. The last what? When was the last good season that the Texans had? When we went like what twelve and four? Mm. Looks, I know you looks at Tanner. Yeah, <laughs> like four years ago. Four years ago. Like Damn. <laughs> Yeah, we have just been stinking it up, and especially the front office, bro. I blame the front office. Like there was a point 
when we had literally every tool to make it to the Super Bowl, and we still didn't. So the Texans are dog shit. Not a fan of them anymore. How about that Dallas Cowboys slander though? Yeah, I will. Ra- I'd rather watch a Texans game than a Cowboys game, bro. I will never be a Cowboys. Yeah, you know same. What means about the Cal- the Cowboys. What about them? You haven't seen those? No. Oh my god, because they're in the new. I'm hard surprised. Knocks. Everything that you see, I practically see. Yeah. Our for you pages That's what are I was the exact say. same. Yeah. My but, whole um, explore page on Instagram is just like cowboy slander. Oh. Because they're the new uh, hard knocks. They're on team. hard knocks this year. Yeah. How are they gonna do that? They have like no quarterback. Oh. <laughs> it was because like, isn't Dak still out? Yeah. He is. I'm pretty sure. He's That's injured. crazy. I didn't hate Dak. I just hated Dak because he was on the Cowboys. Yeah. I liked him when he was in college. Like, he seems like a genuinely good dude. Mm-hmm. And he's not a bad football player by any means. I think Deshaun Watson's worse than Dak Prescott, I would say. Mm. The only thing that I would give Deshaun over Dak is Deshaun's, like, vision, elusiveness or whatever. Because whenever he's scrambling, when the pocket collapses immediately, when the ball snaps. Like it's 90% like, of the time. Like 100% of the time, yeah. <laughs> Like every game, his ability to just like get out of there and somehow still make a play is amazing. Yeah. But I would give Dak everything else, like arm strength. Maybe not accuracy. I don't know. I don't know how accurate I just feel he is. like we haven't seen enough of Dak to compare him to Watson, you know what I'm saying? Well, Dak's been in the league a lot longer than Watson. He's been like two years. For like the past year and a half, huh? Dak? Yeah. No way, bro. What do you, Tanner, do you know when Dak <laughs> came in? <laughs> he's the Zeke sports, fell he's the sports off. guy. He like tore his ACL. 2016, and 2016? Yeah, so that's five years. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's our fact checker right there. Yeah, this is a sports <laughs> fact checker. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, Zeke, Ezekiel Elliott had a huge fall off. When was the last time that he, like, put numbers up? <laughs> head. Head's turn. <laughs> Tell us. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute. <laughs> There's your answer, yeah. folks. It's been a minute. He, he lost like 30 pounds this offseason to try and slim down. So we'll see. But like the best, I feel like the best part was like he would just bulldoze two people. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, he's like a. I remember having him on Madden Mobile. I'm just like. Oh, I used to play <laughs> with, Madden Mobile with, all the time. I'd have Zeke and just just <laughs> truck everyone. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's the opposite for Derrick Henry, though. I feel Derrick like Derrick Henry, Henry's been he's getting so great. dominant. Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry's he's, been. He's like six eight, three hundred pounds. How yeah, long has Derrick monster. Henry been in the league for now? Oh, like two, three years. I feel like he's nah. no long, and he's. No. I feel like he's getting better. There's no way he's been in the league for a he while. Came in, he came in with Melvin Gordon, right? That's a long ass time. <laughs> yeah, wasn't he like the first run, one of the f- like few running backs to win? I think he was the only one of the decade. Damn, because the last one was like what? Ricky Williams at UT? Probably. Damn. But yeah, Derrick Henry, I feel like he's just been getting better. The Titans are going to win a Super Bowl within the next five years <laughs> if they keep Mike Vrabel. <laughs> six six, six. Would, you, would, you, would you say that the Titans would get to the Super Bowl in the next five years? If they keep Mike Vrabel as it's head coach. Come down to Ryan, how good Ryan Tannehill plays. Well, they need a new quarterback. That's what? their... They have all the pieces. You don't think Ryan Tannehill? You would you would <laughs> set your franchise quarterback as Ryan Tannehill. I mean, I wouldn't have three years ago, but right about now. But, yeah. like, right now, he's like a he's like a solid 80... Like, Justin Herbert. You don't I take need, Justin Herbert over Ryan Tannehill. Everyone says you need a franchise quarterback like Tom Brady or... Eagles just... Eagles won the Super Bowl, what, was that three years ago? With Nick, Nick Foles. Foles but Nick, Nick Foles, Foles, there's something different about Nick Foles, though. <laughs> it's a team sport. <laughs> it's a team sport. You don't just need a Is he the one that's Brady's kryptonite? Is it Nick Foles? No, Brady's that's, kryptonite? that's Eli Manning. Eli uh, Manning was in an ad at that Super Bowl. Really? I remember seeing it. I was like, oh, there it is. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Bro, Eli Manning is just different. 
How did he stay in the league for so long? Like, how did I he don't know, man. Do the that? last like five years, I was like, why is this guy still playing football? Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was so bad. They would be gracious to him just because he's a Manning and give yeah, him like just because his last name. Yeah, just <laughs> his last name. But I feel like right when Peyton left, he should have just left too. Yeah, there's <laughs> nothing else for him. Yeah. But um, Tom Brady, I don't know. When do you think he's gonna retire? Mm. Probably. I think it's going to be when he gets 10 rings. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Three more? He has seven right now, right? He, per- he probably will retire within the next five to eight years. In my mind. All right. To eight? Yeah. <laughs> I don't give him eight. I give him eight. Dude, because like, when was the last time that you heard, damn, Tom Brady didn't do that good this week? Okay, yeah, you're not going to hear that. <laughs> exactly. Because it's Tom Brady. Yeah, he's he. As long as he's doing good, I guarantee you he's gonna stay in love with the sport. Have you seen the pictures of him though? He's looking weird, bro. Bro, yeah, Did you but see like, the picture when he's like, have you seen staring into your soul? Have you seen the newfound like oh. personality that he's gotten since he's been in Tampa? Mm-hmm. Tampa Tom is oh. like way cooler. Oh yeah, he is way cooler he's than so Patriots much cooler. Tom. Yeah, Patriots he's got Tom his own was just TikTok like a now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's got his own TikTok and shit. The video of him getting off the boat after winning the Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Old Road turned that into a t shirt. Whenever they dented the Super Bowl trophy. <laughs> yeah. Gronk's That's just crazy. a menace. Yeah. Gronk's crazy. I'm surprised Gronk came back. And also, I'm surprised they didn't utilize him more. Like, obviously, in the he Super scored, Bowl, he, he was the main a, yeah. reason why they won. Yeah. I would say he's the only reason why they won. It's going to be interesting now with, like, AB playing all season now. With A B? Yeah. It's going to be. I don't think AB is going to do anything. It's going to be weird, though. It's going to be. Plus. It's going to be. It's going to be interesting. Like, come on. It's. Nah. I haven't. Did you see him? Did you see whenever he came back with the Patriots? Yeah. Whenever he was playing with the Patriots, he didn't really put up that many numbers. And even with, whenever he came back with the Bucks, didn't put up that many numbers. He had a touchdown in the Super Bowl, I'm pretty sure. He did, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Gronk had what? Gronk had, Gronk had, two. Gronk had two. Gronk had two. I know AB had one. AB had one. And and then didn't Leonard Fournette have one? Yeah, at the end of the game. Yeah, Leonard Fournette's another another college running back that I've really come to like. That Steph I Farm him in college. Really? Just because he was at LSU. Yeah, I remember watching him <laughs> at the uh, at the Advocare Bowl when it was LSU versus Tech, and I remember I didn't know much about like Texas Tech at the time. Mm-hmm. So we were sitting down, and then all of a sudden, tortillas just start raining down <laughs> on us. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And uh, But yeah, I don't know. If you go to Texas Tech, comment down below why y'all do that, because I still don't know. I didn't even know they did that. That's yeah, they I didn't know tortillas. that either. They just throw a bunch of tortillas <laughs> for some reason. They did, like, frisbee them? Yeah, and then you would see all the Mexicans on the ground picking them up. <laughs> really down good. there? Yeah. <laughs> Picking all the tortillas up and oh shit. Oh, my God. But, um, but no, I'm Mexican, so I can make that joke. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> but um, did you watch? Did you start watching All American, the new season of All American? Oh, God, no. Yeah. I can't stand that show. Yeah, I can't stand it this season Y'all can season hate either. me for all y'all want. I, I can't know th- watch an I don't watch it either. Show. I can't. I can't this watch it. The season, acting is freaking horrible, dude. The acting this season, like, the newest season, is dog shit. And it's then like they turn, watching Disney Channel. They do a lot of political stuff in this sh- this season. And exactly. when I'm watching a TV show, I don't want to hear politics. Same thing goes with sports. That was like the same thing with Big Mouth, the newest season of Big Mouth. Bit, wait, there's a new season of Big Mouth? Yeah. It was just super political, though. It was just all just like... Damn. Like some political ass Whenever jokes. you turn... Pol- I, I watched like two episodes and was like, no, I can't anymore. Yeah. Whenever ruined. You, ruined. Whenever you just put politics in like anything entertainment wise, it just fucking ruins it. Because now you're thinking like, damn. Well, that's why I was telling you that we shouldn't do politics on this show. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> and you, it's so every, hard. Every week he's like, he's like, I have a few politic things to talk about. And I was like, bro, we agreed. We but agreed. I'm so, I'm so passionate about politics. So like, it's so hard and you're literally not just to like, like use this. You're shit talking entertainment. It's just, entertainment it's just, just like, like a better thing. To yeah. Do, you know? Every yeah. show can do that. Like, you yeah. know, and they're, they are doing that. If you're going to do basic show, if you're going to do politics, in entertainment, don't be biased. Don't just yeah, cover one area. 
Don't just don't just push towards one side, because then, you know. That's all they can do, though. But like, just or else like the show's canceled. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. End of story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. They do one but, um, side on purpose. Yeah, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I just think it would be better. Because, like, ratings would probably go up and everything. Yeah, like that's that. why. It's all about yeah. the ratings. <laughs> but, um, but, um, a little bit back to your TikTok before we end this, end this episode off. Um, what a great subject to end it on. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I remember back in, like, high school, you didn't, you never wanted to talk about TikTok. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah. You know. Because people would always clown on you, but I never got why. Like, you're more famous than No, me. I understood why. It's not hard to see why. Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you go back and look at his old content, it was a little cringy. But I was always like, damn, man. I mean, how can you do you, you bro? You. <laughs> yeah. Um, but with with your fitness, getting back into fitness on TikTok and everything, are you going to start taking TikTok a little more seriously? Because now it's, like, been proven that, like, you can actually go somewhere with TikTok, surprisingly. Yeah, hopefully, because... I just got an email about like an ambassador thing for a energy drink company. Oh shit! Yeah, so I'm gonna. Can set we that reveal up. who it was? Uh, I don't know. Probably actually. not. Bang. No. Okay. <laughs> so we, so Bang. That'd be amazing. I can't say. Uh, <laughs> but who you it got is some yet, shit in the works. Yeah. You got shit in the works. And I'm about to quit my job. This is my last week. You know. Yeah. Back to go back to school where I'll have free time yeah. all the time. You know. I That'll be make nice. Videos and I can like actually dedicate. The gym's gonna be like your second home. Yeah. Yeah. Do they have a Planet Fitness up there? Yeah, but I don't go to Planet Fitness <laughs> up there. You go to the the other gym. Yeah. Okay. True Fit. Yeah, that's Shout what's out up. Fit. Shout out True Fit. <laughs> Shout out Planet that girl up front. Planet Fitness. What was her name? Rochelle. <laughs> Raquel. Lexi. No, no, her friend. <laughs> her friend. Her friend. Rochelle. Rochelle. Mm -hmm. Shout out Rochelle. I was, dude, I had a crush on her. We'd go in. Like, damn, that's my girl. But, um, but what's your, what's your end of the year goal? TikTok and fitness wise mm. or whatever wise, what do you want to accomplish before 2021 ends? I want to be big enough to where like, no matter what I post, it will like have an impact and like, it will so, actually like, do something. You know, like I don't want to just post an occasional video and it'll blow up and I get a. Few so you want to be more consistent. It. Yeah, I want to like come out. I don't want to plan a video. You know, I want to yeah. make something like target an audience and like I'm gonna talk about my meal plan today mm -hmm. or next week I'm gonna cover like my workout split or something like that. Yeah, I want to start doing that. Okay, and like being more creative with my videos because right yeah. now it's just like clips from my phone my photos of my phone you know? yeah it has like no text on it or like anything you would see on your for you page with like gym tiktokers you know yeah so well i, I think most like, most gym talk tiktokers are so fucking annoying yeah they're very like, like they're all the same in my opinion yeah they, all, they act the exact same like like you were saying i like, follow one on tiktok his name is like matt clifton or whatever um he, I'm going to bash him for just a second. Even though you follow him. Yeah, even though I follow him. Like, most of them, including him, maybe it's him, maybe it's not him. But they'll post, like, the same video over and over again. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember there was one, it was, like, four-week challenge or some shit like that. Oh, yeah. And then the, they'll post that, like, every week. It's like, dude. Like, the Murph thing or whatever. Yeah. Oh, I think I know which guy you're talking about. He'll, like, talk in the back of his own videos. Maybe. And he's, like, I'm not super sure. dramatic about it. I don't know. They'll do, like, four-week challenge, and it'll be, like... It, it's it's why they, they, they created those memes of, like, become an alpha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your dog or yeah. some shit like that. <laughs> some shit like that. Like, um... But, yeah, Jim TikTok is super annoying. There's, like... Because, like, most of them are meatheads, mm -hmm. you know? So, I think if, you know, don't be a meathead and you'll be successful. It's just like, yeah, different physiques and different ways to go at it. Of yeah, course. different ways to go about, I guess, preaching your word. And one thing, no one talks about, like, how to lift. You know, everyone tells you what exercises like to do. Like, form-wise? And what to eat. Yeah, exactly. Well, there's this one black dude <laughs> that <no> actually, <laughs> not that that matters, but why well, leave it out? <laughs> Fair enough. So, um, See, now you're he, more uh, descriptive. 
if you're listening to audio only, sorry. Um, but yeah, um, so that's only ten. That's only ten grand a month. I think you can easily get there if you just stay consistent. Maybe post like I don't know how many videos do you post a week right now. Honestly, probably like one or two. Would you like bump that up? Yeah. Cause you don't. I assume you don't want to oversaturate. Yeah. Right. That could be annoying too. Yeah, you People gotta find like start that balance. Following me because of yeah. that. Just but, flushing um, their following page. But, uh, yeah. I think we'll go ahead and... Uh, you want to get a thumbnail real quick? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> just go ahead and look into this. All right. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I wish you all the best, bro. I know uh, I'll see you later today. Probably right after this. Yeah, we'll probably no, start hanging I'm out. I'm not going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I wish you all the best. Um, if y'all haven't followed Mark on TikTok yet... And you uh and you like fitness, I encourage y'all to do that. Drop the Every, link in the bio. Yeah. And there's no excuse to not follow him. Every one of y'all motherfuckers could work out. So exactly. um there has been it. like a big grind lately. Like last point, like have you noticed a lot more people are starting to work out now? It's yeah. A trend. Yeah. I think it's just cause like everyone's just on the grind right now. Like uh, so okay. it's a great a great on. topic to be on <laughs> being right now. I know we were supposed <laughs> to end it, but I want to touch on this one. No, I'm not gonna talk about that. Do it. Right, next week. Next week. <laughs> it's next a little week. controversial. <laughs> right, dude, um but we'll, we'll go ahead and end it. Um we'll drop socials down for Mark in the uh, in the description. Thank you, thank but um appreciate y'all watching. So uh, make sure to follow the steps for the $100 giveaway. And uh, we'll see you all next week. Thanks. All right. See ya.